It's the mindset. Free your mind. Free your mind. Mindset. Free your mind. Construct the tabernacle will stand the destruction from the storm. Mm -hmm. The inspector gave us the permission and we hurriedly and got the venue across just a little bit down from the station, which is a uh, the, 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 the school ground. School ground, mm -hmm. yeah. That is in Clarendon. That yeah, is yeah. in Porus, yeah. 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 Porus. So then now uh, in Manchester. The school yeah. ground it, it, a very beautiful play field. And the concerned citizens and persons um in custody of the premises say we have to be, be careful but this is where the community um, they use it for the mm -hmm. sporting so we don't want to destroy the grass so we say okay we'll bring the stuff around around yeah but yeah, the yeah. persons can't stand on the grass but not the truck on the stage and we did it very well we kept the stage show with the authority of the inspector and them say tell the inspector say bongo daniel black boy daniel <laughs> yeah, and yeah. everybody knew daniel mm -hmm. and we say all right and the inspector knew daniel very well we went ahead. Inspector Cespedes, for the record. For the record. So we went ahead. We kept the stage show. We grew with the sum of $200,000. And at the same time, then. Yeah, if that was, was like enough money. No, enough money that <laughs> I wanted. We said, no, all right, Mikey, we got $200,000. It was well supported by the, 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 the officers, by the community um, in, in Scotts Pass, Poros, young kids, everyone supported it. We got $200,000. I said, we're going to buy. 12 light posts about yeah 12 light posts yeah. yeah and i left them on the premises of the naivingi center scotch pass i went on tour when i got back it was only one light post left some so of them really rat out on them thing because they never really you know yeah, yeah. But, you know so yeah. we said all right bongo daniel they stole some Mm -hmm. That's the main thing. You shouldn't have taken anything. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And and obviously you don't know who stole. No. Uh, but but someone stole it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So I said, okay, Bongo Daniel, what's happening now? I left the light post and yeah, I went and toured. You know, despite I went and toured, the light post couldn't have been rotten by the time I got back. Mm -hmm. So I said, all right, Bongo Daniel said, put it in a concrete, then can't move it. Yeah. Oh, put it back. Right. So mm -hmm. that is how I ended up doing all that construction. This was way before going to Bobo Hill. No Bobo Shanti, Papa Bobo Hill, no, no Sizzler. Mm. So, we started the construction. You're talking about 2004, 2005? Going right, up. Yes, you know? Yeah, going right yeah. To, uh, yeah. Uh -huh. So we started that, no, we started building the tabernacle. There was a pit, and the, um, Daniel said the pit had been dug for about 20 years. Well, me and Mikey, we do dog plate and stage show, and we bought some train lines and some stuff, and we covered the pit. I began the construction of the bathroom, two bathroom for the lioness and the lions. And no perfect bathroom. I started the construction of the office. Mr. Rose um, helped me. He was the architect. Yeah. And Mr. Rose was the teacher for Sizzler at um, ACRM doing the architectural studies. Mm -hmm. So I said, the best person to do this is Mr. Rose. So Mr. Rose now started getting his other friends in the industry of the construction and we ended up constructing the tabernacle we ended up buying all the irons we ended up buying the roof and mr rose get um the persons to do the roof and they had bud spencer and michael record can give, give you the record for all those um actually yeah. yeah yeah so there and then the works continue i've been doing all this before even they call this like the treasurer before everything, I've been doing this without any title, anything, because it was a promise to Daniel and His Majesty. Rasta family. Yeah. So the interests of be being someone in the office administrating wasn't yeah, on yeah. my account or call. My duty was solely to build the tabernacle ground. And then and then to underscore, because you pointed out that by this time the the tabernacle, the area was more or less abandoned. That yes. people had left when i say abandoned i mean animals began defecating on 
the ground beneath the roof because it's yeah to that level for years mm -hmm. yes mm -hmm. All right, so, so, so the daughter's quarters, the bathrooms, all of that, all of that building under the... Um... No, the lioness quarters and the daughter's quarters and the kitchen, they were already there. Mm -hmm. yeah, right. All right, so you built... The tabernacle, the bathroom, the office, put up the gate and stuff, and we began um, taking care of the land. Mm -hmm. At what point did you move from being called by um Russ daniel um doing doing the work after it was abandoned to now being as the ancients who came in with you a few years ago the president that was after um keeping the banquet helping the elders every celebration Sizzler would provide finance to get the fire timber, to get the food, um, to fulfill the prescriptions for the elders, the taking priest. them to the doctor, the priest, just about anyone in the Bingy family, would name the priest and the elders, the ancient council, yeah, and uh, concerning anything domestically, to get them home, to get them back. Not only Sizzler, you have the families helping out, other families helping out, but Sizzler now as the main thing for Daniel was that and you have the money, and you are the artist, you can, you can get money quick, you don't need none for teeth, and you are doing the thing. So, because of all that, I figure very well they handed over the Treasury Department to Sizzler based on the fact that I'm the person developing the land. Mm -hmm. And now, Daniel said to me, um, Daniel sent Junior Negos saying, Sizzler, Mrs. Marley would like to have a meeting with you. And I said, okay, me soon go check mama. Me had the whole little thing. Mm -hmm. It was there, it run off until about the next two months or a month, June and Egos came again and said, Sizzler, Daniel is waiting for you to have a meeting with his, Miss, Mrs. Marley because she, she'll be going on tour very soon. I said, okay, no problem. I went with Bongo Daniel, myself, June and Egos to see Mrs. Marley. Bongo Daniel was adamant about not taking Junior Negus because for some reason he just didn't trust Junior Negus. Mm -hmm. That's Bongo Daniel. Yeah, right. Trouble. Anyway, we went in, saw Mrs. Marley. At 56 Oakwood, right? At the museum, yes. Museum. We All saw right. Mrs. Marley in her office. Yeah. Then we sat, Mrs. Marley, we greeted Mrs. Marley. Mrs. Marley says, this is the morning, morning, and everything for the likes of respect. So she said to me now, I would like to cut off the Bingi land and I said, okay, cut it off in the name of the church. Now you bring it to your Christ range. She said, no, I'm going to cut off the land in your name, Miguel Collins, known to the fact that you're developing the land. And I said, okay, if it please thee, let it be. So this was about when? What year would you say this would have been? For the record, I'm not remembering well. But this is after you'd have built this up This is the... after Mrs. Yeah. Marley came to the premises and saw the construction. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And I office. heard that she asked, who is doing it? Mm -hmm. And they, t they told her, Sizzla. So I figure very well, this is why Sizzla got a call. And I noticed that also, Sizzla, that you have been um, tweeting, well, at least on your social media, you have been writing about this meeting. Yes. And I think this meeting is critical because here we go now. Um, it, 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 it shed some light on what was in Nana Rita Marley's head also about land and the land ownership at this point. She was very clear it would seem to me that the land was still hers, that it was not cut off yet, that it's not placed in anybody's name. Exactly. Um, because of what she said to you. Yes. She said to you that now she was ready to cut it off yes. and to put it in your name. Yes. Um, what happened then? Okay, after leaving Mrs. Marley's office, we went back on the road, you know, Rastafire Vibration, get some refreshment for Danny. We went back to Augustown. Daniel was pretty excited. So I said, okay. After going back to the Nyabingi premises, the family began asking now, Sisla, what Mama Marley said? And I said, she said she's going to cut off the land in my name. And from then, persons hearing, some got happy, some got vexed. <laughs> and from there and then, you got the uproar, people saying stuff, and the list goes on. Oh, so this is where the conflict That's began just for one, you. One of the entity causing, seemingly, what they're saying is causing the conflict. That is one. The mm -hmm. other one was Sizzler is the person 
is the person to develop the land called by Daniel. I'm going to spend my own money to do stuff. But in doing so, I'm very conscientious of the fact that based on the minutes of the Nyabingi meetings, there are discrepancies about monies coming in and going out, the treasury and stuff like that, misadministration, people sending stuff for the family, they can't get it. So I said, how can I leave my money with someone when I'm not here? Hence, Sizzler, Sizzler ended up have to spend his own money, be on the premises and do the work for himself. And the most trusted person for me then was Michael Record because he's the son of Bongo Daniel Vincent Record who had wanted to develop the premises. So Michael Record should see to it that the duty of his father is being manifested. Right. That of course is you have asked Mike is sitting right here. Right. Right. So what, what did your work entail? <laughs> Accountability. C come closer to the microphone. Accountability. Accountability. Yeah. Uh, meaning? Meaning money that I get from Sizzler. I make sure it's spent. Mm -hmm. Touchable. Where it should go. Yeah. yeah. Not mm -hmm. only Sizzler. Mm -hmm. From anyone. So when you say accountability, transparency, Morgirai, always say tangible. We need to see what's going in and coming out of the Bingi family. Mm -hmm. And yeah. there, was, there wasn't any transparency concerning such. So when I say accountability, accountability, that's another thing that brought some sort of yeah. vibe against yeah. Sizzler again. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, and families started saying stuff that persons got this for the family and didn't um, hand it over and all mm -hmm. the like. So then I have to take up matters in my own hand to do all these stuff. So mm -hmm. while being on tour, I would, would be at the Bingy Center, live at the Bingy Center, do everything at the Bingy Center, leave Bingy Center, go on tour, come from tour, the Bingy Center, and that's, that's so just it. Mm -hmm. At some point, uh, so, so here you have Ms. Uh, Nana, Nana Rita saying to you, um, I'm going to cut this la land off the, with, with a tabernacle is. That, uh, that was at five acres, right? Uh, that, yeah, that was the, the, the portion that she had already um, bartered around with a fence. Right, right. so that's all at the five acres, right? right. Yeah, 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 yeah. Um, what happened? Didn't she cut that off in your name? Because now we know that the land that is, is reclaimed. That is where we're at right now. Mm -hmm. So after hearing the interview on the radio with you, Miss, Miss Stephanie, Stephanie, and Michael Record, I said, the land is being taken back. So is Mama Rita going back on the promise given to the Bingy family yeah. before Sizzla mm -hmm. came in the picture? And also mm -hmm. that she had already uh, spoken to Sizzla that she's going to cut off the land. Mm -hmm. So are we in there waiting? No persons being saying anything for Asafari, eh? we need it with title, yes. But if you have misadministration and all these stuff concerning the family, who could Mrs. Marley had trust, trust to cut the land in their name? Because persons, I think very well, wanted to take the land from the Rastafari family. And that's <laughs> just the whole cycle going through. Mm. You're saying that there was that thing. I hear you laughing, Ras Mike. You're saying that there was that thinking yeah. that there was no necessarily to trust no, no trust in the system exactly um, so to speak. Yeah. in 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 the family i put it that way uh so 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 you ask your question after the, hearing the hearing um that the land has been reclaimed um by nana richa and the marley family you're saying that um you're asking whether or not she's going back on her word but at the same time you're saying you're understanding it so naturally what i'm saying is that based on Stephanie's words right. on the media to the public that the land is being taken back, I'm saying to myself, Whoa. is it that Mrs. Marley uh, uh, um, back went on back on the promise of handing over the land to the Rastafari family and also the promise that she had promised me that she would get me the land for mm -hmm. the Bingy family, so... Right. Why didn't she do get you the land? Why, why wasn't it put in your name? What that's, happened? Uh, that's on her account. I don't know why. It might mm -hmm. be because she's um, a busy person touring our mm -hmm. business. Mm -hmm. But it was on her account to do such. Mm -hmm. It's in her authority. But you weren't against that at all? No, because um, the words of the ancient are well valued. And Mrs. Marley is, is an ancient mother for us. Yeah. So... We are there doing stuff and people saying Rastafari, family rich millionaires, they're not doing anything for Rasta. So when I am um, being blessed and whose person's um, lot it was falling, that I should be the person to take this land for Rastafari, I can't deny that. Mm -hmm. I have to accept. Mm -hmm. And I said yes. 
have you reached out to um, Stephanie, to any of the Maoli family, to Nana, to oh. anyone? To, to well, well, based on the fact that she's um, a bit ill, I can't have any dialogue with her, so I've reached out to um, Mr. Steve Marley concerning the matter after hearing all this. And Steve's words to Sizzla was, Dada, Mama is a bit sick. When Mama um, get much better, then we'll have a conversation with her and I'll get back to you. Mm -hmm. And I left it right there until now no. I'm here. Mm -hmm. All right. My very special guest in studio, Sisla Kolonji, Vas Baiki, and we're talking about the land issue as it relates to Scott's Pass, Nyabingi Tabernacle in Clarendon. Uh, interesting information coming out. Um, we're learning um, from Sisla that Nana Rita Marley had uh, summoned him to a meeting at which he was um, told that she wanted to transfer the lands at Scott's Pass um, to his name. Sisla, would this be on behalf of the Nyabingi yes. in your name? Yes, Just, everything. Well, as as, you, as yes, you say Nyabingi for the record. Nyabingi is the total yes. head for such. Right. Uh, you, you, you talked also, Sisla, about the work done on the tabernacle itself yes and also the other buildings yes uh was anything else done there because i'm recalling that sh um w when i spoke with stephanie she said one of the things that our mother wanted to see happening there was also what was done with the land how was the land use farming etc was anything like that done or was it just a concentration on the building itself naturally yes um the rastafari family over the years. Rastafari are farmers. So the trees there, the fruit trees and all those stuff were planted by the families. I, I personally bought trees and started planting. Michael record can give you a much clarity on that. Michael? Yeah, for the record, yeah. 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 Tell us about the farming that took place here. How was the land kept? The Touchable. The land, the land been cut over the years. It's clean. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, and, and the farming? Well, what was grown there? Well, naturally still, you know, you know, say... Coconuts. Coconut trees. trees. Just yeah. about anything that can be produced on the land and anything that the Rastafari family brought there mm -hmm. to, to be planted. So, so what's your thought then on, uh, on, on what, um, what Stephanie said when she, when she pointed out that part of that part of the issue was also how the land was, was dealt with. Well, the underdevelopment of the land is based on, on the family not having the title and the misadministration of the Nyabingi funds and things going in and out for the Nyabingi family. There could, couldn't have been any construction on the land properly because persons getting money for the Bingi family not handing over the money to the family, touchable. Mm -hmm. So the land was best kept with Sizzla I uh, brought the land more we cut the for every celebration the land is being kept with, with celebration or without, without celebration. celebration the land was being kept in a proper manner because you got little children coming here visitors mm -hmm. and as soon as the grass began growing bongo rambo um Ayatollah, Tolo, um Mugiride, Ayatollah, daniel Mugiride. ives persons who are caretakers on the land, living there, taking care of the land. That land can't be just vacant with no one there. Mm. Those persons would have called Sizzla and said, Sizzla, celebration coming up, we need to get the land prepared. And Juna Negus was always there, up and down with the, with the truck to get a fire timber. So the land was well taken care of. Mm. So I will not stand for yeah. them to drag Mrs. Marley's name through the public in a bad sense concerning the land. The, the land was owned by Mrs. Marley and still owned by, by Mrs. Mrs. Marley. Yeah. And the best person to keep the land was Mrs. Marley. Marley. It's her land. It was already being owned by someone with responsible duty. It was just now the time the Rastafari family needed to advance more concerning repatriation persons going home. We need to develop the land. Mm -hmm. So there But Ras Ivai says the land was given to the Nabingi. You're saying that the land is Nana Rita Marley's land. Yes, it's still in the name of Rita's, um, you know. So, Michael, the so the, yeah. the land was given to the Rastafari family based on Daniel, Data, Dunan, Dago, Mabrak, and those all those persons ask her, and it is in the in in the public 
Well, Stephanie says it was permission to use, not a gift. Then why would the king's grandson yeah. and Rita Marley plan the, 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 the center post? Why would he give Rastafari something and take it back? Uh -huh. I don't believe so, such. So, so your understanding is that this was a gift to Nyabingi? Yes, and that is the reason why Mama Rita herself called me to the meeting to give, to hand over this land so the Rastafari family can do what they want to do concerning repatriation. Mm -hmm. So I, I don't believe, honestly, yeah, personally, honestly. as Sizzler, I don't believe that the land is being taken back. I'm still waiting on Stephen Marley to get to Sizzler concerning Mama's um, health so we, I can ask her about the handing over of the land for the Nyabingi family. So let me be clear. You have said that you do not believe that the land is being reclaimed by Nana Rita. No, no, because she had promised me to hand over the land in my name for the Nyabingi family and she got sick. And I've called Stephen Marley concerning the matter. And yeah. Stephen said, Dada, Mama's yeah. sick. When, yeah. when Mama get better, yeah. me talk to Mama and then me talk back to you. And I said, OK. And I'm still waiting on Stephen's words to be fulfilled up until now. Mm -hmm. So and I will not allow them to drag Mrs. Marley's name, name yeah. through the gutter and having the rest of the Farai family About bashing fire. against yeah. Yeah, Mrs. The Marley, Marley yeah. when she had, had called me and said, son, you are one of the sons. But this is one of the things that her daughter spoke to Stephanie in terms of what's happening. Um, you talk about a bonfire, her name being dragged in the mud, all that is being said about her without um, any kind of a pushback from the community to say, um, stop it. She says that Nana Rita is distressed uh, about that. Like I said before, for the record, I've called the son, Stephen Marley, and he said, Dada, Mama sick, when mama get better, me tell mama and mama will give us the directive. So I'm still waiting on Mr. Steve Marley. Mm -hmm. um, Sisla, was there a time when you you stopped going there? No. When I'm not there, it was when I'm back in Kingston for domestic work or to go on tour. Mm -hmm. At once, all right, for the record, Daniel's wife, Ma Punsi, okay. she went away. My punsi says, Sizzla, you did a long time at help out the Bingy family. We are going to send money, come give Mikey, and you make it up and build the house. That is the, the, the house behind Daniel's house. Because... Well, them call White House now. <laughs> <laughs> so that house was being built by my punsi, Daniel's wife, because Daniel's first house at the front right there, the red, gold, and green house, is being raised down to the ground, being, you know, based upon the elements of nature. So there and then, Sizzla is not the only person who, who are developing the land. land yeah. Other persons are there developing the land. Um, there was a building built for Marshanti on the land also. Mm -hmm. So we began developing the land and persons began saying, so many millionaire Rasta in a Rastafari world and reggae music and bingy, why they can't help Sizzla to complete the office? So there and then no. The office had been on a pause based upon, you know, Sizzla burning the fire and not having access to certain motherland country with the money. So mm -hmm. that is where it's at until now. One of the things that a lot of people talk about, Sizzla, is you having control of a seal, you being there as a leader when you shouldn't be. This is just citing what people have said. Um, how, what is your response in this honest and truthful space this morning? Well, it is a person's responsibility to safeguard what um, has been entrusted to that person. Now concerning the seal, I'm an artist. I knew about the contracts, doing business. Going to this bingy center, I asked Daniel, Daniel, is the church registered? Daniel said, no, Rastaman church must not be registered to Babylon. No secondary government outside the continent of Africa. Anywhere his majesty's name is not being called or being mentioned, you should not be a part of it. So I said, okay, nice. So from then I said, is there a seal for the bingyos? Daniel said, yes, but this seal wasn't authorized by the house to be constructed. Bongo Iri Irons went behind the family's back and constructed a seal. And I said, okay. At this time, no one knew about the seal. Even though the seal um, had been constructed, it wasn't in the priest's position. It wasn't being used? 
they've been used, but the family don't know what's happening. So there and then I said, so where's the seal? He said, Jaja Iron have the seal. So I said, you know, I got, I'm um, not Jaja Iron, sorry, Bongo Iron, Iron Iron has the seal. So I said, I'm go look for Bongo Iron Iron. I myself and Bingy Mikey went up Bagua. to Bagwak and look for Bongo Iron Iron and said, Bongo Iron Iron, what about the seal for the Bingy family? That is years ago, you know. Years, years, years. Yeah. Bongo Iron Iron went inside, go, um, went for the seal, brought back the seal and gave me the seal. And I took the seal from Bongo Iron Iron. No one knew nothing about this. And I took the seal, me and Bingy Mikey, and went back to Naya Bingy Scotch Pass and gave the priest Bongo, ja, um, Bongo Time the seal and gave Daniel the seal and the elders. And they said, what? You know how long we know say this? Years. Some ancient began saying, we don't even know say seal did exist. And I said, what? I left the seal with the priest and Bongo Daniel. Bongo Daniel and the priest and other ancients said, do not give it back to Iron Iron. We don't know what they're doing with it. And furthermore, is the priest should have had, had the seal. I said, you know something, known to the fact that Bongo Ire Iron constructed the seal, seal yeah. in whatsoever sense, I'll take it back, back to, to him. Right? Yeah, yeah. And, and Bongo Ire Irons did give you the seal without, without any, any yeah, yeah. right. Yeah. So I went back and gave Bongo Ire Iron the seal. And Daniel said, why did he give her the seal? I say, because you said, is Bongo Ire Iron made the seal? And I said, all right, I gave up Bongo Iron the seal because I know what's happening. Mm -hmm. Years now going, they don't know where the seal is. So persons began saying the seal is by Sassy, the yeah. seal is by Bongo Ken, the Bongo Tanya has the seal. And we said, but you are the elders. You should be laying out the foundation that the priest, based upon the, the Bingi principle, okay. the priest and the guideline, the priest should have the seal. Anyway, I said to Junior, Junior Negus, find where the seal is at and bring back the seal to the priest. We're on the road up and down doing stage shows and everything, looking the money to do what domestically. Do one, at once, there was some celebration coming up for the family and his majesty. I sat to the, the south side of the tabernacle, mm -hmm. close, to a, close to this tank, square tank Daniel built. And then I saw Juna Negus coming to me and saying, King, you know, the priest says he doesn't want anything to do with the seal because they, they took the seal about three months now and he doesn't know what they're doing with it. I don't want to have anything to do with the seal. So I said, what? Because naturally, the Bingy family don't really know Sizzler. And the Bobo family don't know Sizzler. Sizzler just an artist. Boss out in the world, I do the work. They called Sizzler and <coughs> I did the work. So the same thing I did at the Bobo, at the Naya Bingy Center. I, I went to Bobo Hill and I did the same thing. Same process with the tabernacle, being um, raised to the foundation based upon natural elements of nature. And I constructed the tabernacle for the Bobo Shanty out my pocket, same way with other persons. Have you also done this on land that doesn't belong to the Bobo Shanty? I did it on the same land belonging to the Bobo Shanty, no, which is Bobo by, Hill. Owned, owned by them? No. They're in um, the land based upon the law living there mm -hmm. and such. Because Rastafari had always have a little problem to get the monies to do stuff and stuff. So, What do you think about this, this, this problem of land ownership and Rastafari? And, do you, <coughs> and, and what do you think is the responsibility of people like yourself to continue to pressure government, especially within the Coral Gardens context, to ensure that land is made available in yes. the right and legal way to Rastafari and Jamaica. It should be, but we have for ourselves, Rastafari is a government, no second ever government outside the continent of Africa. We need to pool our resources together, and we, our, we are so much with wealth now, we need to get ourselves together as Rastafari, whether you are, you are uh, being appointed to an office or not, as long as you're saying Rastafari, because you got other religions doing stuff they're uniting and building their stuff so we need to do the same for his majesty do you think that a uh, 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 scott's pass for example that uh, a delegation or a suggestion should be made to the mali family there's for the no right problem with scott's pass to other buy. than no to, to purchase the land to purchase no the land was being given by mrs marley herself as a, a, a as a some sort of kindness so all needed to be done is just for her to hand over the land but seemingly based upon what's happening now there wasn't anyone with that rems 
of responsibility to take the land because I figure why Mrs. Marley didn't give the land. She didn't want to give the land to somebody in their name that would run off with the land. So known to the fact Sizzler came and built on the land, Sizzler can't go away again. Mm -hmm. So I think the best person is to do it with Sizzler. Sizzler mm -hmm. been doing all this stuff. Mm -hmm. So is now being registered in Jamaica? Mm, should not. And if it's being registered, not with the sense of my um, knowledge, it shouldn't be. Mm -hmm. It would be contrary to the fact of the duty, no secondary government. Mm -hmm. So this is where it's at. There is no problem with the Nibing is Katspar's grounds concerning development because I've already did that. There, are, there should just be a patience for Mrs. Marley to hand over the land. So the family, I told the family what Mrs. Marley said. It, it should be the Sizzler's duty to follow up by right mm -hmm. and the family to pressure Sizzler to get it done. Okay. But we've been waiting on Mrs. Marley. We can't pressure her because she was the one who have stated such mm -hmm. matter and told her secretary to put it in the book. Mm -hmm. Sizzler, I'm going to take a, a quick break and when we come back, I'm just going to give you um, a three or so minutes to say, to say um, your final words. Let me <coughs> take a quick break of the Africa Forum. It is Running African and in the final few minutes of this uh, discussion with Sisla Kalonji and Ras Mikey on the land situation, the land controversy, contentious issue unfolding at Scott Spa. Sisla, is there anything else that you would want the family to know that we might not have covered here or anything you want to underscore or reiterate? But I would like the family to know that we should answer to the call of the Prime Minister for the million persons to go to Ethiopia this Sunday, Ethiopia Christmas, the Mel Kam Gena. So we need to follow up with these matters. And we can't because our present matter at hand concerning the, the land issue and people talking about the seal should deter us from the duty of the Naya Binki to return all black man, woman and child to Africa repatriation. The gate is open so we need to agitate for repatriation and we should find the Mali family and see what's really happening. See if we can still have this land because we need this piece of land to have a safe haven for the Rastafari family to get off the street to chant it's really insulting in this time they can't chant and they have be left out in the open. So then the Nyabinki family had given me a tabernacle at 40 August Town and it's in good um, condition and it's open, accessible to just about anyone. Yeah, I've been there. Naturally. So, I don't know. so but, I'm so, here to so, clear. So you're saying that um, in the meantime, uh, where the the different events would occur, the events that would happen at Scott's Pass, you're saying that you're opening the Nyabingi Tabernacle at in August Town for those events? Yes, it was never been closed. Mm -hmm. It was given by the Nyabingi family. They came right. there and chanted. And for the record again, that is where they got the idea of the Millennium Council. Bongo Daniel took Sizzler, drove over the whole, whole entire highland of Jamaica. We go, in you know, some crevices, kind of mountain, rock, to find some Rasta elders from that time. And these elders, they came and they had the Naya Bingi at August Town. It was in the same process of the millennium for Ethiopia. Persons came there and saw elders and see that the elders are here and it is the Haitian Council now and Sisla got the going and they're doing their stuff and they try to form a coup to usurp the government of the Nyabingi theocracy to form the Millennium Council again just to get, to get bad administration because when you form these other councils, these councils and their administrators take stuff from people of the world but don't hand it over to the Nyabingi theocracy. That is the trick to, to represent with other name and not the name of the Nyabingi theocracy and known to the fact that Sisla is a treasurer, he is a public figure Anything with Sizzler will go public concerning Rastafari and the nation. Persons having problems with that again. Well, we're going to have a conversation, I think, with the Nyabingi, uh, with the Millennium Council to um, see what are the issues there, because you've mentioned the Millennium Council a few times, and I think it's only right that we have them uh, respond. Yes. Um, just before you go, because... I, I know you've been doing some work in August Town, and I want to thank you for, for coming in, uh, for being, being here so early. But don't want you to leave without telling us about the work you're doing in August Town, especially with the youth. What's happening in August The Town? work in August Town is a follow-up from the Nyabingi Tearcrest Rain, taking my premises, preparing it for the redemption. And it's a follow-up from all the 
they, 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 not say, they, they say mandate, but it's not mandate. We, we, we got the desire and date mm -hmm. where Rastafari family must return to Africa and the five point agenda from Bobo Hill. So it's the same, the duty of all the mansions of Rastafari. I've made my place um, secure and well yeah. kept accommodative for yeah. process yeah. of yeah. Nyabinki Festival. Just about anything, as you've heard, the Prime Minister said in the stadium that Sizzler's home is now a community center. Mm -hmm. because they had done their investigation and knew very well that it is in that like doing so for Rastafari, mm -hmm. right? yes. Mm -hmm. So we, we've constructed um, the, the, the museum, it's not finished, to be quiet, and we have, we're setting up like a Kalanji cafe where we can serve guests coming there and the premises is being upgraded, well kept and altered just for the purpose of repartition or just about any public activity. We're going to, we're going to invite ourselves and come, Certainly, have, and come have a look at the work that you're doing. No problem. Um, thank you so much, Sisla. Thank you're you very so welcome. much for coming in. Um, thank you so much, Ras Mankey. And uh, uh, I know that this, uh, this discussion will continue outside of this space. Uh, what would you want to say to persons who are now going to engage in further discussions? That Sisla is the person to help in keeping the family together. Sizzler is the person with the love and the joy for Rastafari. Sizzler is the person that said, no Bingi family can be separated. Only way the Bingi family is being separated is, is if these persons are not abiding by the principles and the guidelines of the Naya Bingi theocracy. So when you're saying that Bingi house split, the Bingi house can split. Bone split, bone separation. Bingi house are well, they are, we are well united. The fact of the matter is that persons get caught being exposed are trying to shift attention from themselves to Sizzler. But what? Not a problem. I'm here to clear the way. So the final directive from the elders, the ancient council in the tabernacle from the priest before he died is that Sizzler please to finish the office and buy a big safe, put in the office and you can put the seal inside the safe and other important documents for Rastafari on the premises, the headquarters, Scots Pass, Naya Bingi Center. That is why I'm adamant, adamant about um, getting that land for Rasta. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Sisla Kalonji. Thank you so much, uh, Ras Mikey. Well, there you have it. And uh, as you listen to uh, the, uh, or re-listen to the first interview with Stephanie Marley, and uh, listen to this interview with Sisla Kalonji, there are many agreements in what we are hearing from both and so that the issue is really a family issue that should be able to be sorted because of this level of agreement and mediation i think is the right way to go i hear lawyers being talked about again and and i hear um, persons digging in their heels but if we step back from this a bit and have a proper mediation i am sure that this is something that can be worked out easily. This is my personal feeling. Smash that subscribe button. See you on the next video. I just thought the mind. Smash that subscribe button. that subscribe button. See you on the next video. I just thought the mindset.